Okay, guys, we are back at it. We are at the mill. Donnie and I had a really nice trip up north, dropped off a good chunk of lumber up there. They call it a jag. A jag, Good yeah. jag of lumber. It's a jag, all right. We got a jag on the mill right now. This one, we're kind of taking over. Greg had uh, started this, and he's almost got it to a block. Donnie measured it. They were getting some 16-inch boards off it already, but... Yeah, this... Uh... It's already measures 14. 14 so we'll we'll continue with 14. And what's he got for a measurement this way just out of curiosity what so the high point 21 there yeah so that log was probably 25 26 when yeah. they started at least yeah. yeah so he's got it squared down so we can just run it run it run it and then we'll put some stacks over there for him it's quite a chunk of wood yeah yeah i'm figuring maybe we'll take off two or three boards and then we'll set these off and and trim them because that we you know that that's way that's too way big. too much to saw at one time yeah i mean that's a 24 horsepower motor that's over 45 years yeah. old so we don't want to push it any harder than that yeah so. it's like pushing an 81 year old around out yeah, here yeah that's right in the heat and that's a you know <laughs> trying to get him to do anything <laughs> But if we put those up, we'll get 16s out of those. And yeah, yeah. 16 we, inch board's pretty good, and they're pretty pretty clear. They yeah, got a couple I mean, knots. They're, they're real good. There's no red hat on them or no. anything. So, you know, 15 there. We can get a 16 back here. But, you know, we might want to trim those to 14, too. You know, so they'll be all clear. I would, building wise, I'd yeah, do it. But, yeah. but I don't know what Greg's looking for, and he's well, already got a few 16s. He isn't here, so <laughs> all right. we take over. All right. So, if you guys think about it at home, three 16 inch boards next to each other is as wide as a sheet of plywood. And how long is this? 12? 12. Yeah. So, every three of these, you're getting, is it sheet one and a half? Plywood. Sheet and a half of yeah, plywood? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, so every. Every three of these is a sheet and a half of plywood, so that's pretty darn good. Yeah. So if you guys are looking to save money, buy yourselves a thirty thousand dollar mill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get a get a thirty thousand, forty thousand dollar machine to load yeah. up. Plus a wood lot. Yeah. Get buy a couple hundred acres. Yeah. And you'll be able to save some money on your plywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see how the mill's running today. It's always a little finicky over here, but we're gonna give her hell. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Donnie and I absolutely love doing this stuff. We love building. We love saving trees, you know, that might might go to the dump or just rot yeah, and, and like this turning tree, them into this something. This tree has been down for a while. The back was all coming off it. So it had been sitting down, you know, it had been cut probably two or three years ago. And luckily the worms hadn't gotten into it. Oh, yeah. There's, and, a, uh, there's a pine bug so, in Maine that, that'll bore into the logs and put holes in yeah, them. Yeah, I was going to say, there's one over here. Yeah, we can we show can you show guys. You what yeah. they do. They're pretty awful. I mean, it's not for sheathing, it doesn't matter, but if you're trying to do projects and, and show the wood, it's a different story. Oh yeah, they're yeah, in there. This is a good example. Yep. You can see all the borings here that they've, you know, made in these holes and they drill these holes and lay their eggs for the next year. And uh, they're an ugly looking thing. Yeah. And, uh, I think they could probably bite you pretty good too if I had a had a tendency to do that. But they get through that log pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. So they, you know, you can't keep your logs down very long. And I notice in uh, some saw yards, sawmills, that in the summertime is when the bugs hatch and stop boring. They water down. They keep water huh. constantly on the logs until they're sawed. Huh. And that keeps the bugs away. Show the folks at home what we got over here, Donnie. I, what do we got I'm pretty here? impressed with those oh, two. Yeah. We got two logs here, a hackmatack, which is a great log used for sills. Uh, it really likes to twist and turn, and, and it's a, a really fairly hard softwood. Oh, I guess it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it it's the only softwood that sheds its needles. Yeah, the only deciduous one in Maine. And uh, they use it in sills. They also use it as plankings in horse stalls and cow stalls because it holds up well with all the urine and, and uh, manure that animals produce. And uh, so it's, it's a good product for that, for... for um, 
you know, two by fours or two by tens that you're framing with, you know, if, if the log looks fairly straight and good, maybe you can get away with it, but I would say worse. Yeah. 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 But that's a pretty good well, that's example. That's pretty clear. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's a pretty big hack. Yeah. Attack. We call them hackmatack in Maine. Some places call them tamarack. Yeah. Um, I've heard them called a couple different things, but yeah. this one had some serious good growth rings. Yeah. Usually, I mean, usually an eight-inch hackmatack's a big hackmatack in right. Maine. Yeah. And this thing's close to yeah. eighteen, I'd say, or better. And usually they don't grow real straight, you know. So. Or tall. So but, no, those, those are good logs. Yep, so we might be milling those up. We don't really have a need for it right now, to be honest with no. you. After we get this pine off donnie and i are back to dimensional stuff so we got a 16 foot hemlock here that it's got a little crook to it little i think we can get a six by six out of it yeah we need sills for our foundation for our, our wilderness camp we're going to be building so stay tuned for that and we're going to try to mill a six by six out of this and then donnie's gonna um cut them up nice so they fit together we so we have to join two of them together so i have to make a splice and uh and put them together either with long screws or or long nails yeah and, uh, but here in maine i mean you can pretty much find white pine just about everywhere in maine there's some red pine mixed in no yeah. norway pine mixed in here and there uh yellow Not pine much, yeah uh, mixed in here and there but white pine's the tree of maine uh hemlocks pretty well scattered across maine and where we live we have white pine hemlock Maple, oak, ash. Um, what am I missing? A uh, beech yeah. and popple are real strong where we live. We don't have any spruce around us. You got to go to the coast, which is 20 miles away, and we don't have any cedar around us, which is kind of a bummer because we love working with cedar. Uh, I think the nearest cedar is about 20 miles north of us, right? Yeah. Up in Liberty, Moral, Moral. Belfast area, there yeah. seems to be some cedar. Yeah. But we'll get some hackmatack mixed in. We'll get some ironwood mixed in. We'll get some, we'll get some various other trees mixed in. Uh, we do have pretty strong elm around us too. You know, there's yeah, some elm left. Have, yeah, are slowly, slowly disappearing because yeah. of the Dutch elm disease. But and then we're real strong on black cherry too. We got yeah. some wicked nice cherry trees that grew along, you know, a couple hundred year old stone walls. They like to to run those boundaries. Yeah, and on the birches we got white, oh, yeah. yellow, and gray. Yep, yep. Um, there's quite a bit of yellow on my lot here, mixed in. There's uh, a bunch of yellow birch and uh, white birch. Yep. Um, and a few grays. We'll get we'll get some brown ash too, but for the most part, it's all white ash, which is nice. And we haven't seen much of that boring beetle yet. That's supposed to decimate the entire. Yeah. White brown ash, ash kind of like swampy areas and wet areas and i i don't know of any i've seen on this wood lot but i know you got some near your i got a lot place yeah uh yeah they don't get big either but geez donnie and i milled one last year jamie cut for us a couple of years ago that thing was the biggest brown ash i think i've ever seen it was yeah 24 inches maybe at yeah. the butt yeah we were yeah, surprised. Yeah, huge. It was it huge. Brown ash. Yeah, made some beautiful axe handles out of it, but but that's what we're mostly after is the big tall one there, those white pine and Donnie's fortunate enough he's got some beautiful pine and hemlock on his woodlot, and that's honestly for, to, for building a wilderness camp. Yeah. What else do you need? Yeah, right. You could you actually you could you know cut all your framing material out of it. You know. Yeah. It isn't as hard as as uh, hemlock, but. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong. You could frame with it. Yep. Board with it. Boarding is the preference, you know, to use. But I have a friend that uh, does a lot of my cutting for me, and I have him do selective cutting. And a lot of my tall pine we're finding has a pencil rot in it, and it's it should have been harvested probably, you know, a half dozen years ago, you know, uh, as it gets gets older, it kind of gets uh, center rot, and they, they call it pencil rot. And uh, the mills don't like that. Uh, they really cut you on scale. So I I use it here and for my own use and, and cut out the good logs, and he leaves me the 
junk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we save the junk and turn it into houses. Yeah. But yeah, here's the other thing we do here is this is all that firewood I was talking about. So strong on maple in this area. So this is a lot of maple. We got ash, we got beech, yellow birch I see in there. There's some oak in there, both red and uh and what do we got? Red maple mostly. Yeah, a little bit of rock yeah, maple mixed red in. Maple, yeah. Yep, and then you know that that all makes for good firewood. Donnie and I will mill some ash. We'll actually probably mill that ash yeah, log. That, that's a pretty good butt log. Yeah. And makes excellent axe handles. Uh, good straight grain. So I think that we can get some good pieces out of that if we quarter saw it, uh, yeah. which is a little different method of sawing. Uh, you know, to get the grain to come right on axe handles and yeah. so forth, we have to keep turning it taking a slab off, turning it, taking a slab off, and keep doing that process. That's quarter saw. But on boards and stuff that we do, we just go right through it, and and uh, we don't care about the grain so much. No. What do you got over there, an oak or something? Yeah, that's like you picked up an oak somewhere. <laughs> so Donnie, Donnie and I, we don't mill a lot of hardwood because we just don't have a lot of need for it other than axe handles. But if if we're milling hardwood for projects and for pretty stuff we love ash i both of us just absolutely love dealing and working with ash it's such a pretty wood when you finish it he does not like working with oak so so i don't like working with oak then <laughs> but uh is that an oak there i mean that's really clear yeah. yeah but you can see all this junk pine and my son greg has an outside furnace and he has a, a really big house and he goes about through about 30 cords and he burns nothing but this old junk pine. And, uh, you know, you get some heat out of it. Of course, you don't get as much heat out of it as you would uh, out of hardwood, but it gets rid of it, and uh, and he doesn't mind working with it. So that's good. Yeah, yeah there's pretty much no waste on the wood lot. You know, and if we, if we get into a log that we don't like, or if there's big slabs, it doesn't bother us because it's going to get used up and, and utilized for, for Greg's wood furnace. So that's what we're doing out here. I just figured I'd give you guys a, a little heads up, let you let you in on what we're doing and see if it might interest you guys enough to hit that subscribe button. This is the lumber right here that we've been milling the last couple weeks to bring up and build a wilderness cabin right here. So we got two by tens, two by eights, six by sixes, and two by fours. Yeah. And and we need a lot of them, so yeah. stay tuned. We're going to be milling a lot of them. After we get this giant pine off, we're diving back into the hemlock, right, Donnie? Right, you sure are. Right. Yeah, yeah. We need we need to get going on that because time is getting shorter. You know, it's <laughs> soon going to be September, and that's when we want to start building. So uh, a lot of this isn't going to have much time to dry, but uh, it'll work just fine. And in fact, a lot of hemlock. Uh, People prefer to use it green because it nails easier and once it gets dry it's a really hard material and uh, splits a lot if you, you know, drive big nails through it. So it, it's going to work out great. So that's what are we going to do. <laughs> Well, we're going to get that covered up in case it rains like it's done every day this summer. And then we'll come back to you guys tomorrow. We're going to, tomorrow we're going to try for 2 by 10s I believe. Right, Donnie? Yeah, we've we got to have a lot of 2 by 10s and 2 by 8s Yeah, we need about 20 more 2 by 10s We need yeah. about 40 more 2 by 8s yeah, are, are the know, for rafters, rafters. 14 footers for rafters. 10 pitch, what are those got to be, about 14? 14, 14, 14 footers. Yeah. Yeah, so and then the porch roof is going to come off the main yeah. roof. Those are going to be 16 foot 2 by 8s. Six, oh, that porch is going to be. Yeah, because oh, because you're going up into the roof? Up fairly high to get a good pitch off. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. So we need a bunch. Okay. So we got some serious milling to do. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow, guys. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. Leave us a comment if you are watching this and you enjoy it. Because as of right now, the channel's new. It's growing. We have no idea if you guys like this stuff. We have no idea what type of stuff you want to see. You want to hear more of us talking or see more of us cutting? Or what do you want to see? Let us know in the comments. We'll deliver for you. 